their quarterback. Had a pretty good junior season, 24 total touchdowns. And uh, let Craig see, I'll tell you about some things that, that stands out about his game. So right here, you're going to see just the deep ball. Good accuracy over throwing two defenders right there. Same thing, uh, fitting it into a tight window. Love that right there. You're going to get a little bit of a play action. Boom, finds his read. Good, accurate throw. I think this was one of my – oh, no, it's not yet. Good back pylon throw right there. Boom, here's the back shoulder fade. Put it on the receiver, can get it. Boom. Here's the deep ball. I love this. Three defenders, guys. Look where he places the football. Throwing so with a lot of confidence. Yes. I think he's an excellent deep ball thrower. You're going to see it on his throw right here. Boom. Let's look at it again. Okay, boom. So you see that? Great coverage. Everybody's pretty much locked yeah, up. Look how deep that safety is. Yep. Go back. Great point out by Craig. Let's look at it one more time. So as Craig said, look at how deep the safety is. This is the safety right here. Everything is covered pretty good. He just throws him open. Three three DBs right there. I mean, that's phenomenal. Great deep ball. So right here finds the seam. Go throw right there, hit his receiver in stride, let him do his thing. One, two, nothing's there. Look at him by time. Love that throw right there, right to the sideline. Nothing there initially. Play makes. Right here, good throw off the run. Now, this is my favorite play, and I'm going to tell you guys why. I'm going to break this play down. But great job by him. Finds receiver for the touchdown. But let's break it down a little bit more in depth. I'm going to tell you guys why that's my favorite play. Okay, so first off, his first read's right here. So first read's not there. This is great coverage right here. He's going to come down. Right, boom. That's the whole part. It looks like they're playing cover three. He comes down. Boom. Not there. Okay, he doesn't panic, right? Everybody's covered. You can see right here. Vice cover, waits, waits. Okay, I'm going to hold. Then he's going to leak out. He leaks out over to the um, right side. Great job, too, by these two receivers, you know, giving him a way he can throw the ball. A lot of receivers stop when they're covered, kept moving. Love that right there. First read not yeah. there, Craig, but you keep the play open, make a play. Love that. I'm right here going to see him roll to the right. Got a little bit of pressure. Boom, good accurate throw on the sideline. Love that. Boom, a little play action. Hit his hot read. Get the ball out quick. All right, same thing here. Look at him. Step up. Boom, nice accurate throw in the zone. All right, here's again. Here's the deep ball. And it's actually a busted. It's actually busted by the offense because two receivers run in the same route, basically. But still, look how you throw them open. Kwinski's the only one I've seen do that this year. Yes, you got Cam Lloyd and Bam both back there. Boom! Look at that. Like I'm gonna avoid the rush right there. Still throws an accurate throw. Get to the receiver in space. Love it. All right, boom! There he is right there. Nothing's there. And like I'm use his feet. Underrated part of his game is a dual threat ability. But as you can see right there. Athletic enough in order to score a touchdown. Great play design right there. Boom. Here we go again. Another deep ball. I mean, it's great coverage. Yeah. I mean, he's just throwing these receivers open. It's excellent coverage. Boom. Find the the, the uh, void in the defense right there in the middle of the field. Hit the receiver in stride. Let him do his thing. Boom. Another back shoulder one right there. So, yeah. Craig, I'll start with you, and then I'll give my take. What stood out about his take? What did you like most? He's got great touch when he's throwing to the sideline. He's throwing receivers open. Uh, thing that we always look for with quarterbacks, whether they're lead or not, their throws over the middle. He's able to deliver it um, with confidence and with enough zip on the ball to fit in the windows. And I think his size is a big deal also. Six foot two, over 200 pounds. That gives him confidence in the pocket. And then when he's running in space, he's not going to necessarily look for contact, but you can tell. It's going to take a lot to bring him down. 100% agree. For me, I have to agree with you. Great touch. I think it's an excellent deep ball. Some of the best one you'll see probably in the state. He's throwing these receivers open, um, as Craig alluded to. I think he's good at buying time. Sometimes that read is not there, but he can buy time, be a playmaker, and not throw it into harm's way. Sometimes you'll see a quarterback 
buy time, but then throw it into a tight window for interception. Good at buying time, but finding the right read. Um, I like that he doesn't get flustered if the first read is not there. We've seen on several plays in that tape as well. First read's not there. He's waiting, kind of throws his receivers open. Love that as well. I think it's a great ability, Craig, at climbing the pocket. Climbs up the pocket, gets up the middle, able to throw those deep balls as well. And I think just, you know, um, I think he's good at all those things. And I think he's very accurate, too. I think that's an underrated part of his game. And the dual threat ability, um, you know, may not be, I mean, not while you with the speed, but still has the ability to be able to escape and extend plays and uh, get, get first downs. Yeah. <clears throat> and on the play you liked, uh, he's, great at stepping up in the pocket, but they're in the red zone. It's a second and short. He's able to drop back almost like 15 yards. He's just reading everything. And then I think that was either the fullback or tight end just goes out. Yep. Easy money. So he's able to step up, but also buy himself time because he's got such a big arm yep. and just keep dropping back and letting things develop. So watch a lot of quarterback tape. He's definitely the real deal. He is. So Brody Hanna, if you guys want to get on him early, me and Craig are putting you guys on to this quarterback from Loganville, a very special player. They're going to have some great weapons back next year as well. So team to watch, he did make the playoffs this season. They did lose to Mays in the first round, but they're going to be very special. He's going to be one of the reasons why. They got some great players out in the 